Right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use this image and create a glowing butterfly like this one. All right, so I got this Leo part here. I'm just going to drag this or copy it in a new file. And let's resize this. I think I want to turn him around so he's facing that way. And we need to fix all these white areas here. So I don't think content aware is going to help here. So I'm just going to select not him, but this background. Copy it, so I have this background layer, as you can see, and now I want to select this white part here, go to Edit, Fill, Content Aware, and press OK. Alright, that is fixed, and do the same for this part, Fill, Content Aware. And also here, I don't like these white lines here, but I'll get to it later. Maybe I don't even need to fix that. If I make background darker, oh, just a little bit more here. Fill content aware. The reason why I cut out these pieces of the background and did the content aware instead of doing it on this one is because if I do it on, on the whole image, Photoshop is gonna use this whole image as a reference. So also this, this Leo part here. So let me show you what happens when you do that. So you can see Photoshop copies this Leo part and we don't want none of that. So I'm gonna go back and this is okay. Now, Let's see. All right, so this was like a PNG file, but it's not PNG, it's just like it. So if you have this, like PNG, but it's not really PNG, just select this and select this and press delete. And now you've got background deleted. Let's put this in a file. Need to make some smart object for this one and flip it horizontal. I'm gonna make sure he's facing this this butterfly. I think he needs to be a little bit sharper because it looks like he's behind this butterfly, but I wanna make him look like he is facing it right in front of it. So I'm just going, let's make this one layer first. So this is our background and Leopard. And let's go to camera raw filter. Not sure what happened there. Camera raw filter. And let's see. We need to make him a little bit sharper. So I'm gonna increase the clarity. Texture a little bit and sharpening. See how this looks. So this was before and this is after. So it's a little bit sharp now. I think it looks better. Maybe let's make this smaller. Alright, so we need to get rid of all this. I have like these white lines here, but it's just a just a bug from Photoshop, but it's actually annoying me, but whatever. I'm going to make this butterfly less bright. So create a new situation, select this one and bring this down. 
and maybe make him a little bit more like that and let's put this in a file in a folder let's do some brightness let's bring this down a little bit darker and maybe a little contrast not too much all right and let's do some curves okay let's make them first like really dark and bring some areas back to light so i'm gonna just drop down the highlights and midtones and select the mask of it and i want to make some glow in the center of it so just gonna lighten this up again create a new curves layer and let's do the highlights now. Something like that. Now we only want this in the center, so I'm gonna select this curves mask, press D on the keyboard to make sure the background is black, and press Command to control backspace. And now just brush this lighter again. Something like that. And now and we need to edit his lights. So I'm gonna select this and do some curves. First make it darker. Then bring up, bring back the parts that need some light. I think this is maybe a little too dark, so I'm just gonna change that. So this butterfly is our light source here. So we need some lights like here, maybe around here, a little bit more here, like these areas. And let's make another curves layer. And let's really make this bright. Something like that. Let's make this background lighter so we can see this better. Usually while I work, I just make the background lighter than darker again because my eyes get used to this image and this background gets annoying. So I'm gonna change that every time. All right, so now make a new layer on top of it. Select something like yellow. Because we need some glow from this butterfly and change this to overlay I think less orange something like that and he needs some reflection from this butterfly so I'm gonna create a new layer you can even try to have a little bit of reflection in his eyes of it just make sure it stays in his eyes and not in his fur and not on the pupil because it's black and that doesn't reflect color so like that and let's make a new layer let's pick something more orange yellow change this blending mode to overlay and let's just Play around a little bit with this until we have something that looks really cool. And we can even do some dodge and burn on this leopard. So I'm gonna create a new layer on top of those, fill it with 50% gray. Make sure to select overlay as a blending mode and select the dodge tool. I'm gonna brighten up his eyes. Oh, that's too much. Let's do a little bit less. Just something like that. I'm gonna use the dodge tool and make like a little 
more light here so maybe highlights I don't want to do it too much because it's gonna ruin the image so I'm just playing around with it and maybe also need to create a new fill layer with 50% gray for the butterfly that's this one make sure you create the clipping mask change it to overlay and let's brighten up like he's glowing from the center like that maybe it's too dark at the back so it's gonna be a little bit lighter all right I think this looks pretty good already we can even remove some colors from this image because we don't have much color at night so just gonna drop that a little bit Just a little bit less. All right, now we can try to duplicate this so we have more light, but not too much. So, dropping down the opacity of it. Okay, this is pretty much done. I'm gonna add curves as always to brighten up these lighter areas and make the darker a little bit darker like that and let's make this image a little bit warmer so I'm gonna select color balance and add some red to it and yellow that is it for today I hope you learned something new don't forget to subscribe hit that ring bell button and see you in the next one